Hey, you ever stop and think how cool and amazing animals can be? I mean, really. Why are some of them black and white? What kind of insect sees the whole world in slow-mo? Who is an immortal being? Well, let's find out. We all know that a comedian tells jokes, but a chameleon can change its color. And it's not the only one. Flat fish such as flounder can merge with the seabed like a real super spy. Many types of seahorses are similar to chameleons. Not only because of their ability to change color, but also in that their two eyes can move independently from each other. There are seahorses that can't change color at all, but they're born with a color to blend with their habitat – red for coral and green for algae, for example. Octopuses change color faster than anyone, and closer to the water surface, when the sunlight reaches them, octopuses become transparent. Snow hair changes the color of its fur, but only twice a year. In winter, it's white and disguises itself in snow to hide from predators. Also, its fur becomes longer to protect the animal from cold. In spring, its fur turns gray. Baby flamingos are grayish-white. Algae and seafood they feed on contain a substance called carotenoids, and thanks to it, over time, flamingos acquire pink plumage. The plastic ones you can see in my backyard. Oh, by the way, carrots are orange exactly because of carotenoids. But they're not animals, so forget that. Tigers don't change color, but their skin is peculiar too. Each tiger has unique stripes, just like human fingerprints. And it's their skin that bears those stripes, not just fur. Yes, if you shave a tiger head to toe, it'll still look like a tiger. Only bald. Polar bears aren't at all white. Their skin is black under the fur. They need white color to disguise themselves while on the hunt. The color black absorbs the sun better than any other, while white fur doesn't stop sunlight. Rays pass right through it. In a sense, the polar bear has transparent fur. The black and white color of a zebra doesn't help it hide from predators. What it does is help avoid bites of insects that carry diseases, such as tsetse flies. A fly sees a zebra, but when approaching, it flies by or crashes into the animal and bounces off. Nobody knows exactly why this happens. One theory says that the black and white coat of the zebra creates an optical illusion that confuses insects. Also, zebras can't sleep alone. They sleep in groups, having one of their ranks to watch out for predators. Kind of a zebra patrol, I guess. Some black skunks have white spots which they use as a warning to predators. The color kind of says, hey, bugger off or you'll get a lot of stink. And predators dig this. Scientists have found the reason why pandas are black and white. Giant pandas live in areas where vegetation meets snow. The black and white coat helps to camouflage the bears in such an environment. Also, pandas know each other by black spots around their eyes. Now, there's a myth that cats and dogs see the world in black and white. In reality, they just can't distinguish some colors. Nobody knows how exactly dogs see. Some think they only distinguish two colors. Could be blue and yellow for all we know. But they can't see shades of other colors better than people. And cats have wonderful night vision. They need about seven times less light than a human to see in the dark. Now, cows and bulls don't care how green the grass is. These animals don't distinguish colors well enough. And contrary to the popular belief, bulls don't care about red fabric. They react to fast movement before their eyes. And because of the special eye structure, they think that the surrounding objects are closer than they really are. That's why cows are often scared when people come up to them. Thanks to their tallness and good eyesight, giraffes can see the enemy approaching from afar. Their head is like a watchtower. And they warn each other of the danger in a very unusual way, with the help of their well-developed eyebrows. Like this, or this. Giraffes were thought to be mute, but recently it's been found that they make low-frequency sounds at night to communicate with each other. It's likely that at night, it's difficult to see the eyebrows, so they start talking this way. <laughs> By the way, giraffes fight each other with their necks. And if you were ever to get swallowed by a giraffe, it's a long, long trip to the tummy. 
Geckos have incredible night vision. These small lizards see 350 times better than humans at night. This allows geckos to see the stunning starry sky. People can see such a sky only through a telescope or in a sci-fi movie. But I doubt geckos can enjoy the view. Unless they catch sight of their home planet. Well, they look like aliens. Night vision doesn't work if there is no light at all. But some species of snakes are able to see even under such conditions. They have infrared receptors on their heads. These help the snakes see the temperature. You know, like in spy movies. Now, eagles have the sharpest vision of all. They can see a mouse from several miles away. These birds of prey see a very clear image and are also able to scale vision, just like a camera on your phone, but of course with a lot more megapixels. Some insects, such as flies, have thousands of little sections in the eyes. Each section can show only a small portion of the view, which makes it look like a puzzle. Flies see a very fuzzy image, but they have a superpower, an ability to see everything in slow-mo. That's why a fly always gracefully dodges your newspaper. Spiders have several pairs of eyes, which doesn't help them see very well, though. Some spiders don't see at all or discern only light and shadow. They just focus on vibration of the spider's web when something touches it. But there's one spider species with a perfect eyesight, the jumping spider. It has eight eyes and can see the world in Super HD. And it's also the cutest spider on the planet. Well, it's my opinion. Some frogs can only see moving objects. There can be a lot of food around it, but if the lunch doesn't move, the frog won't see it. Fish breathe with the help of gills. Whales with the help of a hole on the top of their head. And white-throated snapping turtles can breathe through their… butts. Yeah! Scientists call this cloacal respiration. And that's about all I care to say about that. Seagulls can drink salt water. There are salt-secreting glands near their eyes. These glands purify seawater very quickly, and the salty residue comes out through the nostrils. Tiny little mice are really good at empathy. A mouse becomes sad and more susceptible to pain if it sees another mouse being hurt. But this works only with mice that are friends with each other. We call these nice mice. The Turritopsis dorney jellyfish can turn back time for itself by reverting to an earlier stage of its life cycle. In essence, this makes it virtually immortal. Butterflies, on the other hand, these beautiful insects, feed through the proboscis but feel the taste of food thanks to their hind legs. The Adelie penguins are real romantics. They have only one partner for life. The male must give a smooth stone to the female to create a family. You could say that's kind of an engagement ring. Like humans, though, a female penguin may refuse and not accept the gift. Foxes are romantic, too. Male foxes are good fathers and husbands. They are devoted to their loved ones for life. They look after females and even pick out fleas from their fur. Male foxes improve their whole houses and take an active part in their baby's upbringing. Gibbon apes also fall in love once and for all. They live in big groups like human families – parents, children, brothers and sisters, granny and grandpa. And every morning, the big family sings. Gibbons are some of the best singers among all mammals, able to change the volume and timbre of their voice. I guess gibbons are real jungle opera stars. Dolphins can sleep with one eye closed and the other one open. Half of the brain dreams and rests, and the second half closely monitors the environment for signs of danger. The perfect brain for sleeping during boring classes and meetings. Besides, dolphins manually control their breathing. They can simply drown if their whole brain is sleeping. Now, sea otters are the cutest sleepers among all animals. In summer, because of the heat, sea otters spend all the time in the water. They swim on their backs and sleep in that position. The babies are sleeping on their mother's stomach, and two adults hold each other by the paws so that they're not carried apart by the water currents. How cute! I guess we ought to go see some otters, huh? Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. 
just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!